how did I get you to agree to come fly fishing with me with a group of random guys that I met on a fly fishing forum? How does this work? I just kept on asking them until I said yes. <laughs> True. Junior? Mm. How was breakfast? Pretty good. What, vegetarian meal. What, what did you have? It was like a hash brown with avocado and beetroot. It was pretty good. Were you jealous of me with my bacon and egg roll? Yeah, but we don't talk about it. <laughs> so it didn't take me long to get back to Mossvale. Trouble is, it's the wrong Mossvale. This is Mossvale, Australia, not New Zealand. Lil, what have you got on your shoes? Show me what you've got. You've got croc lights. Wow. Hey, let me show you mine. There, there we go. Yeah, my gold croc lights. Put my. You're gonna switch my one on. Can you press my one and switch it on? Press the front of mine. There we go. Oh look, it flashes. If you press it once more, it goes flashes. <laughs> Enjoy. There we go, some locals. So this is uh, quite a look for the morning. Uh, in your full glory here. Yep. <laughs> um, how did you sleep last night? Quite well, actually. And what's the plan for today? Go fishing. <laughs> go catch some fish. Wherever it says we go fishing. <laughs> and uh, what is the plan? Where? Tentagra Creek. Tentagra Creek, okay, Between, perfect. Uh, what is it, the um, Bullock Hill Trail? Perfect. Junction with the Murrumbidgee. Perfect. Great. That's exciting. Linton, you look like a pro. <laughs> Nor the second hand Lord Gadget here. Shh, don't tell your mum. Woody, I've um <coughs> I've heard of people wearing double denim, but I see you're double khaki. You can't see me, I'm all khaki. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? All I can. This is how Woody loses weight, right? Yeah. All I can hear is a voice. <laughs> how about that, eh? Here on the Yukon Bean, uh, fishing the stretch above the road bridge, and I've got my eldest with me. I've got Linton with me. So. Uh, I met a group of guys on a forum on a Fly Life magazine and uh, they've organized a fishing uh, weekend uh, out of um, uh, Angler's Reach. So we've, got, we've all got cabins in Angler's Reach. So Linton hasn't done much river fishing so I brought him to the Yukon Bean to fish and uh, start with some river craft. And, uh, we see how that goes and change my setup a little bit. I'm going to fish today with uh, a chest pack, the Fish Pond Thunderhead waterproof chest pack. So after the New Zealand trip, just trying something a bit different. Let's see how that goes. All right, there's the next generation of Louis fishing this beautiful pool on the Yukon Bean. Right, we bit temperature check outside 24. In the river, 15. Is it cheaps? <laughs> Actually, that's not bad that cost. And um, you definitely did. Oh, that's a good opportunity now. So let's work your way up there. Okay, we can catch that. There he's rising again. Two rises there. Okay, take four steps and get that in front of him. Four steps up. Fish that. 
the only reason it can go under is so he's coming and taking the blood worm okay which is underneath so you you definitely need to lift your rod okay just like that straight up there, there he is over there where that rise was okay to cast again there he is he's just risen uh four three meters further out okay so take two steps and cast again yeah so so it, it, it's sort of you, it's almost like you straighten your right uh, but not rise right go strike 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 Oh, huge fish. There. Did you see it? Just spooked a huge fish. Oh, damn it. Two and a half pounds. Well, well, well. That's one of my best ever fishes in a river. Tell me when you're ready. Yep. Okay. Okay, can you go to video mode? Okay. Yep. And record the release. Okay. You got it? Got it? So Linton and I have really struggled to catch fish today uh, and this pool where we got this fish and where I spooked the big one earlier this is one of the few bits of deep water this river is so different to when I fished it on the second weekend of opening um, in 2023 uh, in any case so that that brownie um, he was holding in that bit of water there behind that rock where you can see the face on the rock he was holding just in there um, and he, he took a, a fishing dry dropper and he he, he took the um, the nymph so that beautiful brown um, one of my best ever in the snowies was caught on my uh, RL Winston Air 2 9 foot 6 weight 9 foot 6 for a 6 weight um, fishing an evolution <clears throat> FS reel uh, with a Rio Gold line 
um, and it's a real gold uh, weight forward um, six, weight forward floating six. And then I'm fishing one of those uh, 15 foot Rio leaders terminating in 3x. Uh, and then tied onto the 3x, I've got um, a new fly for me, a Cat 3, I think it's called a Moon Dance. And then below that, I've got another new fly for me, which is a Fulling Mill uh, 3D glass buzzer. Uh, and this is a little small red one. It's a fly I fished in, in New Zealand and got a bit of success on. Very chuffed with that. So Linton and I, and I have exited the Yukonbeen River at the Nunga Creek Trail. Um, there's the turning to Mount Selwyn and that's that Bollocks Head Creek, I think is what it's called, that I fished with Laurie um, a few moons ago, that wonderful day when I fished my split cane. <laughs> We've got a long walk back to the car. I think we're going to both be buckets of sweat by the time we get there. Anyways, we're at Kyandra. I can't believe that I managed to get Linton to wear one of my Sims, Sims hoodies. An old, well, an Orvis. It's not old, nothing of mine is that old. An Orvis. Hip pack. And a good old purple net. Looks like a pro. Even if he was just skunked. There's the car in the distance. Over there. 9th of March 24 and the Yukonbeen is very low and very clear. For this trip to Yukonbeen uh, with um, these fishermen that I've met on, on the Fly Life Forum, decided to give an alternative uh, fishing setup a go. So for New Zealand and for many months before that, I've used the Sims Fest, which is great. But it has so many pockets that there's such a temptation to fill it. Uh, what I'm also finding is, is if, you, if you do wade fairly aggressively, then the bottom pockets of the, you know, the bottom pockets are constantly getting wet. So what I'm trying now is the uh, Fish Pond Thunderhead uh, chest pack and um, it's much more minimalist and also as a result much lighter so one of the items that I've been able to cut out is that flower box of mine that I'm so proud of um, but that's very heavy because it has to be waterproof so I don't want to wet wade uh, I don't want to wade deep and then and then get all my flowers wet but in the Thunderhead here, what I've been able to do is I've been able to break up my flies into a nymph box, a dry fly box, um, and uh, like a streamer box. And those boxes don't need to be waterproof, so they're much lighter. And it's also given me an opportunity to, to look at the kit that I had in my vest and try and make an assessment as to how much of that I actually use regularly on the water and for example I, I carried the graphylene wax by Loon which goes on my rod ferrules I, I, I carry that everywhere with me well I've just put that in my rod bag now I carried split shot lead weight and I've got weighted nymphs um, so now I'm just carrying the lead weight um, and I've, I've left the split shot behind and if I go and do spawn run and I want the split shot then that's perfect then then I can swap out the lead weight um, for the split for the split shot. Um, so at the moment, uh, inside the bag, I've got three fly boxes, and then I've got um, a bunch of leaders at the back. Um, some, well, now 15 foot, some 12 foot, some 9 foot. In the front, I've put my monomaster, and in this little front pouch, I've got my SPF lip balm and I've got um, my Weber uh, temperature gauge and then on the right you know I don't travel anywhere without the hatch nippers so that's what's there and on the left I've got my Orvis 
uh, scale me measuring. I've got the double loon, top ride, and a quell, uh, trout hunter, and um, at the back here some forceps, and they just tuck in. They just tuck in here, and then my net is attached um, at the back there. So I've got the two positions to carry the net. I've got the the high ride position, which is here, and I'm fishing my long handled net at the moment, um, and then. I've got my fish pond lumber pack and I've got the the alternative uh, position to hold the net uh, which is which just just clicks in here and that's for for when the fishing is when the fishing is on yeah there we go always trying to trying to change I, I think this has come out of the New Zealand trip where you know the guides were, were all using backpacks and uh, Typically a CNF, a very lightweight CNF uh, lanyard up front. Um, so I'm sort of doing my own, my own spin on that. So this is the Fly Life group here. They have spent equal amount talking and drinking to amount fishing. The ratio is 50-50. This is them here. Here we go. So, Mitter, introduce yourself. Oh, no. no, don't do that. No, it's, ha it's happening, it's happening. This is, uh, Here we go. This is how it happens. Well, here's my hero, Robert Lewis. <laughs> Lord Gadget. A AKA Lord Gadget. Uh, we're here at uh, on the banks of Eugenbeam. Yes, we are. At the, at the Fly Life Gathering. Who would have known? Who would have known? How on earth did I get included with this motley crew? Yeah, right. Yeah, well, you got it right there, mate. All in one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, good fun. Nice to meet you, Robert. Nice to meet you too, right? And how was your fishing? I've had a ball. I've had a ball. Four days already for me. Yes. Jimmy and I have uh, had a ball, and uh, Michael and I had a ball today. Rumour has it you've spent some time with Mickey Finn on the Tumut. Oh, Mickey's a marvellous man. Yeah, we had a ball on, on the Tumut, drifting down the Tumut for a day. Good stuff. Yeah. Smacking, Good smacking hoppers into the water as hard as you could. Size six hoppers into the bank as hard as you like. Very good. And they went at, you, went at them and then came back at you. Very nice. And, and today? Um, today, uh, I had a long distance release. Uh, yeah, I that heard about good. your long distance release. Oh, that was good. That was fine. Well done. But Mike got a lovely uh, pound as we caught a fish out of just a trickle, not much wider than yes, this table. A yes. table about a, brownie. a meter wide. Brown I saw a photo trout. of it. Beautiful. Marvellous fish. Good. So we've had a ball. You've had a ball? Yeah. Oh, and uh, off to the Snow, uh, Goose, Snow Goose tonight. Hotel tonight. And, uh, Meet the locals. 29 of us there Con for dinner. Contribute to the local economy. Absolutely. Let's go, and, uh, it's always an important thing to do. It is, it is an important thing to do. I'm, I'm a great believer in that. Ah, I think, I think the shirts are going to be issued with our shirts. Oh, the shirts are coming, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, well, I've had a shower and I've been putting a bit of Dio. I can smell. I can, I can smell you've had a shower. Perfect. Oh, that's exciting. Well, it's been a pleasure getting to know you. It's been good thank, to you know your, you thank you for your hospitality. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. I'm good. I'm pleasure you're enjoying it. It's been great. So for this uh, adventure, uh, we had the opportunity to pre-order fishing shirts. And it's, the tradition is that they get handed out to everyone on Saturday night. So that's what it is now. So I'm going to show you the shirt. I'm very proud of it. Look at this. Thank you very much. Thanks, Colin. Yeah. Colin. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for all your work, Isn't that this the most beautiful logo? So one of the guys, yeah, he's an artist and he he designed that one. Superb. I'm gonna put that on now. I will wear this with pride. Look at that. Don, mate, you look like a million dollars. Uh, logo by Freddie, of course. Logo by Freddie? <laughs> yep. Perfect? Yep. Mate, that fits you perfectly. Well done, Don. Steve's. 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 Steve's.
Uh, shirts have been the issued. Shirts uh, was the shirts more stressful than the food. Possibly, yeah. Possibly. Okay. Okay. Well, you've done a great job. We look. We look like a million dollars. Look at the boys. Look at the boys. This. That looks like a dress shirt. It's awesome. It's awesome. You can play. You can play golf in that. Almost. Yeah. All I need is a tie and a vest. Well done, right? That looks amazing. Right. Cheers, Junior. Cheers. Cheers. Did you got skunk today? Cheers, and I didn't. Cheers. Cheers, John. Cheers. Thank you. So, Saturday night, Snow Goose. And let me tell you, there's quite a crowd here having dinner. I'll show you now. About 30 of us.